walk through mud. You hit your head against the ground as you attempt this feat. The bulldozer rumbles slowly toward your home. Bulldozer. There's no ver- okay. Walk. You can walk into your home to the north. A path leads around it to the northeast and northwest. And a country lane is visible to the south. What lies between your home and a huge yellow bulldozer bearing down is a few yards of mud. Let's go um, northeast. Back of, back of house. The rear garden is a pleasant place. It's a bright morning. Sun is shining. The birds are singing. The meadows are blooming. And it's a lovely day for a walk. A path leads around the house to the southeast and southwest. Southeast. Southeast. Front of house. Mr. Prosser, the low... Prosser, the local council, is standing on the other side of the bulldozer. He seems to be wearing a digital watch. The bulldozer rumbles slowly toward your home. Speak. You must address Mr. Pro Prosser directly. The bulldozer piles into the side of your home. Your home collapses in a cloud of dust, and a stray flying brick hits you squarely on the back of the head. You try to think of some, some suitable last words, but what with the confusion of the moment, and the spinning of your head, you are unable to compose anything pithy and expire in silence. That really sucked. Uh, look. You, you keep out of this. You're dead. An ambulance arrives. Look. You keep out of this. You're dead and should be concentrating on developing a good, firm rigor mortis. You are put in the ambulance which drives away. Speak. For a dead person, you are talking too much. As the ambulance reaches the mort mortuary, a fleet of Vogan constructor ships unexpectedly arise and demolishes the earth to make way for a new upper space bypass. We are about to give you your score. Put on the peril sen sensitive sunglasses now. Uh, hit enter when ready. 10 out of possible 400. Restore, please. Restore the game. All right, would you like to start over? Yes, okay. Um, southwest. So toward your home. Speak to Mr. Proser. Hmm, Mr. Proser looks at you expectantly as if seeming, as if you seem to be about to talk. Talk to Mr. Proser. Stop! What do you want to stop? Bulldozer. You lie down in the path of the advancing bulldozer. Proser yells at you to, for Christ's sake, move. Say no. You're, you're, tick, you're talking complete nonsense. Pull yourself together. The bulldozer thunders toward you. The ground is shaking beneath you as you lie in the mud. No. You sound rather negative. The noise of the giant bulldozer is now so violently loud that you can't even hear Prosser yelling to warn you that you will be killed if you don't get the hell out of the way. You just you just see him just gesticulating widely, wildly. No. You sound rather negative. With a terrible grinding of gears, the bulldozer comes to an abrupt halt just in front of you. It shakes shudders and emits a noxious substances emits noxious substances all over your rose bed Prosser's incoherent with rage moments later your friend ford prefect arrives he hardly seems to notice your predicament but keeps glancing nervously at the sky he says hello arthur takes a towel from his battered leather satchel and offers it to you take towel as you take it, Ford says, er, look, thanks for lending me the towel. But nice, be nice knowing you. Got to go now. He smiles oddly and walks down the country lane. Uh, talk 
to Ford. You can't see Ford here. Speak to Ford. Okay. Um, county Lane. Country Lane. Move. Country. Lane. Follow. What do you want to? What do you want to follow? Ford. You can't do that while you're lying down. Stand up. The bulldozer drive driver gives you a quick chew on his of his gum, and slams in the clutch. The bulldozer pl piles into the side of your home. Your home collapses in a cloud of dust, and a strafe flying brick hits you squarely on the back of the head. You try to think of some suitable last words. Uh, you're unable to compose anything pithy and expiring. Okay. Exit. Uh, look. Speak. So I've, I'm already dead. I've been taken to the uh, mortuary. Let's, uh, let's restore the game. All right. All right. Look. You can enter the homes of the north. A path leads south to northwest, east to northwest, and a country lane is visible to the south. Mr. Prosser from the local council is standing on the other side of the bulldozer. He seems to be wearing a digital watch. Stop. Bulldozer. You lie down on the path of the advancing bulldozer. Prosser yells at you for the for the, for Christ's sake move no you sound rather negative the bulldozer thunders toward you the ground is shaking beneath you as you lie in the mud save the game okay Let's say no uh, the noise of the giant bulldozer is now so violently loud that you can't even hear a processor yelling to warn you that you will be killed if you don't get the hell out of the way you just see him just to Clayton wildly. No. You sound rather negative. With a terrible grinding of gears, the bulldozer comes to an abrupt halt just in front of you. It shakes, shudders, and emits noxious substances over your rose bed. Prosser is incoherent with rage. Moments later, your friend for Prefect arrives. He hardly seems to notice your predicament, but keeps glancing nervously at the sky. He says, Hello, Arthur. Takes a towel from his battered uh, leather satchel and offers it to you. Say hello. These um, speak to Ford. Hmm, Ford Prefect looks at you expectantly as if you seem to be about to talk. Help, for help. If you're really stuck, a complete map. Okay, um, take towel. As you take it forward, it says, Er, look, thanks for lending me the towel, but it's been nice knowing you. Got to go now. He smiles oddly and walks down the country lane. Stop Ford. You can't see Ford here. All right, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, speak to Mr. Prosser. Mr. Prosser looks at you expectantly as if you seem to be about to talk. Stop. What do you want to stop? Uh, bulldozer. You already are. Okay, what do I do now? Look. Front of house lying down. You can enter your home to the north. A path leads around it to the northeast and northwest, and a country lane is visible to the south. Mr. Prosser from the local council is standing on the other side of the bulldozer. He seems to be wearing a digital watch. Uh, okay. Look at towel. It's covered with little pink and blue flowers. Uh, look at digital watch. You see nothing special about the digital watch. 